Welcome to the workshop. Last time we cut the backrest to fit. Next thing is to laminate some boards to make up the arms. There's quite a difference between the side of the, the back leg and the position of the front leg. So we need to build out a lamination thick here and then gradually tapering down to the front leg. If I attach the cutoffs we took from the lower end of the legs we can bring the sides of the chair at the top of the top of the rear legs back to perpendicular to the floor then we can build out with some extra material and eventually a full length to reach to the the front leg I'll finish plane these little wedges off just to make sure they are nice and flat and I'll glue those on to the tops of the legs and then we can shape the arm laminations and attach those. I hope you can see in this picture where with sufficient blocking out in this region first of all with the wedge we cut off of the bottom of the leg which is the right taper to turn the top of this leg into a perpendicular side a couple of pieces of shorter blocking and then some full length blocking to come down and form the arm and we'll be able to shape a gentle curve in around the back there and shape the arm with a nice sweep after a little bit of tweaking I've decided on this layout for the laminations to allow me plenty of scope to curve the backs of the arms and to produce the sweep down to the front legs. So I'll just prepare these boards and glue them up. 24 hours in the clamps and we're ready to continue. I drew in some profiles for the side and the top of the arms based on those that I'd used for the maquette. However, having completed fitting the back temporarily, I was able to clamp the arms onto the chair and try it out. Just as well as I found I needed to make a few alterations. I've made a couple of changes to the outline and used a highlighter which will make it easier for you to see and for me when I'm sawing on the bandsaw and I've cut the angle here to match the top of the front leg that angle is the same as the angle at which the base of this arm blank meets the back leg so we measure that with a bevel gauge set it on the end here and I cut and then plane those nice and flat so they, they fit flat on the tops of the front legs and that's where they'll receive a down and then I've drawn out the shape rough shape of the arm on both the side and on the top, the top's not too clear on this one because we've got a little chunk missing out here but on the side, on the top view on this one you can see and in a future video I shall be cutting these out on the bandsaw. So that we can join what is a square arm blank to a canted out rear leg we produce a couple of wedges. I've planed off the wedges which were cut from the bottom of the rear legs. They're now exactly the same, nice and flat on both sides and I'm going to glue them onto the top of the back legs where the arm joint is going to be. That provides me with a perpendicular surface. Join me next time when we temporarily fit the backrest and glue these wedges on. <laughs>